The solo journey had been long. Lots of late nights and early mornings. And by now, I'd seen many rust days pass me by. But if you thought the story was almost over, oh boy, you'd be wrong. Because these quiet nights, when you think the chaos has passed, are the moments when the carnage unfolds. I hope you guys enjoy my way of playing solo survival. So, let's continue from where we left off. I'd finally managed to run train yard and get my hands on a red card, while at the same time also killing a hazmat AK. The next step was to take the launch site red room. Second time's the charm. Let's hope this works. If you are enjoying this series where I test popular solo bases on official servers, make sure you drop in the comments what base you'd like to see me try next. I have this junior. Oh, this fell off. Okay, looks like it's not looted, that is good. Definitely didn't bring enough water. Nah. Alright, let's hope for some good crates. I always get shit luck on these elite crates. That is terrible. Thank god I got a water catcher, exactly what, just what I needed from my elite play. Ooh, okay that's more like it, I'll take a bolty. Okay that was terrible. Meh. Alright. Don't think there's anyone camping. I was wrong. Did he really just kill me with his last bullet? Fuck. Killed by snow. Seconds from escape. I recognized the name, but couldn't remember where from. The elite crates hadn't been fantastic, so I didn't feel too frustrated at the loss. I also knew he would be long gone if I tried going back thanks to the horse. So I cut my losses and kept my head up. Well, what next? I put my skins on. Everyone knows the more skins you have, the better you are at the game. It's just, uh, it's just common sense. With the AK now acquired, I realized I was finally in a position to comfortably take Heli, which meant it was time to build my shooting floor. I'm not sure this is a square or a triangle. Ah. Okay, I know I think it's triangles because this doesn't make sense. Yeah, there we go. It's actually a very simple shooting floor for such a complex base, which I really like. It's very clean. Skin, actually. It's new, but it's cool. I'm only really making this metal because I just have so many spare frags. Okay, 
Okay, and then after these upgrades, it should be a minimum of eight rockets to get into my peaks. Unless I go through doors, because then it's fine. But at least they can't like blow straight into my peaks, which is good. And with the base now almost fully complete, it was time to go roaming. Let's see if anything's going on in the neighborhood. Ooh, C4. A faint C4 and rockets in the distance caught my attention. Fuck me, it's cold. Just gonna have to chill by this campfire for a bit. Oh, it's them raiding. It appeared as though one compound was raiding their neighbor. I can't tell which base is raiding which. I think they're raiding the one on the left. Try and sneak up to the entrance. Shit. <laughs> That was bad timing. They also whiffed. Where'd that guy come from? Bro, where are these people coming from? While well, re-kitting to head to the fight. I heard AK shots from the exact location that I died in. I wasn't as interested in the guys that had killed me anymore, but instead, the guys that had killed them. And they just so happened to be living right next to me. Those guys definitely just got murdered by that AK. Oh, shit. That's them. That's the AKs. Base is tiny. <laughs> Fuck, I couldn't get around the base. Yo, I want to raid these guys. It appeared that two more characters had come into play, and I wanted these guys gone. From what I heard, it didn't sound like they had garage doors, which meant that a raid would be easier for me. I got straight to crafting the explosives. And after a short break, I went back over to say hi. Looks like they left their externals half built, which means they might have gone offline. I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna test. I had only brought enough explosives for one sheet metal door. I had mainly wanted to test if they were still online and get a better idea of their layout inside. With the knowledge I now had, I returned back to base with the rest of the explosives. I feel like going through this door will be a better idea than the armored one. What have we got? I can just soft side this wall if I need to. Oh shit, TC! And with an amazing streak of luck, their tool cupboard was in direct line of sight. I could destroy it and remove the window bars. Bro, that was too easy. Alright, let's hope for some goodies. Oh, it's all open. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, these guys, uh, they got some loot. <laughs> okay. Bro, what the fuck? These guys are loaded. That was like two sheet metal doors. Let's chop up some bags. God, that is a lot of loot. Eight. 700 scrap, what the? Definitely made profit, without a doubt. Oh, 
fuck, let's go. Now this was a bit of a jackpot. Quite possibly the most loot I've ever had from two metal doors. And best of all, this duo wouldn't be causing me any more trouble. How do they even have so much crude and low grade? Like what? I make profit on GP as well. A little better now I've got an airlock. I looted up and began transferring the treasure, waiting till the dead of night to maximize my chances of getting home safely. Oh, I'm glad I made it home with that, that was scary. Oh, he's so loaded after transferring this. Well, I don't think I'm ever going to need to get low grade again. And with all this new stuff, I was going to need some more boxes to store it all. I feel like you guys always appreciate the box organization. Oh, that's a clean. Oh my gosh. This is a disgusting amount of loot for a solo man. I feel dirty. Now let's get this furnace going. Now it's properly eight rockets after I get this garage door down. Actually, I should need to upgrade the ceiling. If I can replace this with the garage door, that will be at least seven rockets through doors. This tech tree. Ah. Thank you. You will be mine. Pickles V2. Building into my compound. Oh hey, it's my neighbor. How you doing? I switched. I switched a couple of Ah. Yeah, this, I have no beep. Ah, I see. I want to I want to start. Whereabouts are you living? Oh, that one. I see. Damn, <laughs> spec that he's just starting over. With the horse that I just bought, I wanted to do a quick recycle run to Outpost. I've been hoarding comps for too long. I'm gonna get so much scrap from this. And frags. And with the abundance of crude oil that I had, I also thought I'd purchase some things from drone shops. Two bolties. Uh, I'll throw in a couple shotgun traps too, why not? Yay, now I can uh, roof camp, I mean defend my base if I if I need to. Home sweet home. Time to upgrade my prim box.
With these new blueprints, I could finally upgrade my kit box. Oh yeah, this is looking fire. Go. Oh, because I accidentally placed a triangle. There we go. As the sun rose on a new morning, I wanted to do some AK roams. Yeah, I'm on that pickles. Let's see who's about. Beams like. Hey, that could have been worse actually. No warm up. Not too shabby. Oh, those guys are fighting over there. Ah, it was Tommy. That's not really a fight I want to take head on. Ooh, they're leaving. I'm gonna go after them. I feel like these guys might actually have quite a lot of loot on them. There they are. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Just dropped him. How the hell did that guy get there? What? I thought he was all the way on my right. Okay. It's got a lot of loot. Thank you, fellas. Appreciate the scrap. Oh, I didn't pick up the blue card. Oops. And there it was. The sound of the patrol helicopter in the distance. It's time to make some noise. Right, come on, Heli. I'm taking it. This is it. Just gonna tag it. Hey, there we go. Come on. Come here. God, it's been ages since I've taken a Heli on, uh, on official. Right. I'm gonna need the bolty. Oh, never mind. It's coming. No, it's gone down on the edge of the cliff. Fuck, that's a pain. I'm gonna say my MP5. Because fuck taking my AK into that grub land. I decided to take an MP5 rather than an AK to secure the heli. As there's a high probability of getting jumped without much chance to fight back. Oh, that's one. Okay, that's alright. I'll take rockets. I'm 
think I might have to drop down in a second because one of them's gone out and I don't want a naked grabbing it. Oh, come on. Oh, bro, come on! Shit, Luke. Gotta go back and get the other crate up there. Uh-oh. I think that guy's dead. <laughs> that guy's dead. He's got dropped. He didn't have the heli crate lead though. Shit, maybe his teammate had it. Oh, it was attachments? Really? The heli loot was terrible. That being said, I was just happy that I'd managed to secure the loot and make it home. That was some dog shit heli loot. I feel like I get really unlucky with the loot tables in this game. Like, I don't think I've ever had an M2 from Bradley or Heli. Bullets can go in here now, I guess. No, I've killed so many. Damn. This is a fire looking box. You may remember these neighbors causing me trouble in the last episode. I wanted to inspect their base to find any weak spots for a raid. Okay. I feel like I could blow through one of the doors in that peaks. I think this one could be a good one. Now I can soft side out the wall afterwards. I just want to see what's behind it. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, I forgot. I forgot Satchel's good dud, man. Oh, it's... Okay, that's not a good day. After forgetting that Satchel's can actually dud, I ran back home to soft side the stone wall to get into their peaks. Eco raiding again, it seems. Is that actually doing damage there? Okay, that is. Takes so long. Finally. And I can finish off that door and see what's behind it. Worst case scenario, I blow up the door and then I can soft side up and get that large box in their bedroom, whatever's in there, so. Best case scenario, there's fat loot. Bro! Okay, I should have known these guys have also turrets everywhere. Just leg it! Fuck! Okay, I mean, it works. As long as no one finds my body. Thanks to the helicopter, I actually had exactly what I needed to take down these turrets. Hey, I'm kind of grateful I found those incense rockets now. Should get through it. They have a Okay, dude, these guys are so extra. That's four turrets just in their bed and their roof. Oh, thank god I have five incense, because I can go through four more. Oh, for okay, dude. I didn't yet have the launcher BP, and it was the only rocket launcher I had, so I ran it home before inspecting the base. I'm gonna run this home in case I get jumped. Surely there's no more auto turrets. I beg. No more. Hey man, come down. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I got scared that guy. After moving both turrets from their shooting floor, I could now soft side up into their bedroom to see if there was any loot in the large box. At least give me something in here. Make this time.
And after all the effort, it was pretty worth getting my hands on a grenade launcher with a cheese. If I were to get online, could come in handy. And finding all that loot in just the bedroom showed the potential of what could be inside this base. It was a tough one though. I'd already had to go through two auto turrets just to get to their peaks. I figured I'd made some good distance though, and decided that going from the top down would be my best bet. Not gonna lie, if that had been empty, I'd probably just given up, but... Now I'm feeling motivated to keep going. These guys are gonna have some big loot, I feel. Probably just another garage door. And... Oh, it's a double armored door, man. These guys were not making a raid easy for me. That being said, I'd come so far, I couldn't stop now. This better be worth my effort, I swear. Oh my, how many traps do these guys have? Trap after trap after trap. This better be worth it. I'm not sure I've ever seen a three man so like extra with their base. Everything's like perfectly lo locked down. Why did I choose this one to raid, man? I just want revenge. Okay, should be one more turret. Oh. Turret's out. Okay. Finally getting somewhere. I think that's their cool bunker down there. Oh no. Oh, please don't tell me this is a despawn. Oh fuck. I had to be honest, it wasn't looking promising. I guessed at this point that they might have despawned all their loot and headed off for the wipe. But, being just one garage door from the main bunker, I couldn't exactly stop now. These guys were literally on yesterday. I swear if they despawn, I'm gonna be so sad. Well, I'm not expecting much here. Oh my god, I cannot stand these guys. Oh, I think I think that's it. I think all the traps are done. Oh man. And there it was. A complete bust. They despawned all their loot before logging off. But a part of me was still proud that I was able to raid the base at probably the cheapest possible cost. And if you learn anything from this, there's always weak points in bases. Sometimes it's better to be smart than brute force. Because if I tried to go through doors, this would have been an even more expensive loss. Come on, kick me in the balls again and give me an empty TC. And hey! At least I got a hundred high quill, right? That makes it all better. Well, that's depressing. And after all that, I was pretty exhausted. It's time for me to go to bed. Waking up on a new day. The first thing I wanted to do was get another red card and try launch again. Unfortunately, I fucked up the recording once again, and there was no audio, so I'm just going to talk you through it. After killing some scientists, I flicked some switches, swiped the blue card, and looted some crates. They were pretty average. I returned home and stashed my goodies, swiped green card at launch, flicked a few more switches, ran launch, got some pretty shit loot, as per usual. The view was pretty cool though, I have to admit. 
This time I actually checked my corners, didn't get ambushed. Returned home and stashed my goodies, and then headed to Outpost for some recycling. After recycling, I had about 600 scrap, which was pretty cool. I then headed home, stashed my scrap, and did another launch run. I got this crate. That was pretty weird. Never seen that before. Rest of the crates, meh. Rode all the way back home once again, admired my gun collection for a second, headed to Milton, somehow killing this guy, and then returned home for one last time, and that takes me to the present, where I didn't fuck up the recording. I need to sort my life out, I can't believe I keep messing up these recordings, man. And it sounded like I had some new neighbours down the hill. By the fact that they were roof camping with a bolty, I decided they weren't too friendly. I was expecting worse from my MP5 spray, not gonna lie. My area had suddenly become chaotic. A big fight broke out just down the hill. Oh shit. I sniffed potential. Oh, I thought tapped out. Two dead, one more. Fuck! So close. Uh, do I go bolty or do I go straight back out? Okay, I'm gonna go and bolty, try and kill one or two, and I'm gonna out. Fuck! In a long fight like this, filled with grubs and third parties, not worth taking a full kill. Just gotta wait for the right moment to push up. Which is now. Oh shit, he's dead! Might be able to grab the guy's LR. LR, where is it? There it is. 19 bullets. Oh! Fuck me! Oh. oh, I missed an AK. Oh, no, I've got two people pushing me. I'm gonna have to wait for them here. It's me, it's me, no, Joe! Oh, bro, my neighbor didn't know it was me. Mama Joe. Is my, uh, is my body still there? Just killed like fucking ten of them, man, that was insane. Huh, <laughs> make that eleven. Make that 12, what is going on? Alright, I'm out, I'm out. That is uh, a lot of guns in my inventory. Woo, feels good. What can I say? I'm a farmer at heart, but I can still hold my own with a gun. Who'd have thought? Probably the first time lots of you have even seen me use a tier 3 gun, but oh well. I don't even have the storage for all these guns. Don't know what to do. A little while later, after the fight had died down, I started to hear some SAR shots from nearby, and it sounded suspiciously like a raid. That is definitely a raid. I think it's two. Fuck. 
was hoping you wouldn't know where I was. Where's this guy gone? Oh. No. Just got away. Bro, I can't even see him. He's camouflage. I shouldn't have taken off the scope. Oh, uh, roof camping. I probably should have suspected that. The same neighbors who were roof camping with the Bolty earlier. I would get my own back on them. I was sure of it. Not really sure what I can do. Got such good angles from that roof. Are they taking Bradley? Yeah, he is. Fuck, so close. Okay, it's two of them. Three of them. She's got silence. Oh, that guy got dropped. How is he not dead? Oh my god, I'm sh shredding these guys. Custom's a bit of a beamer. Yo, I've got this guy. No, that was another in the roof. Oh, at least I fucked them up. That guy feels bad for standing still. Oh, shit. That guy whiffed. Ah, there's always one more. Thank you very much. Oh. Well, that was a guy that had my stuff. It wasn't. Oh, quite a lot of meds. Yo, what the fuck? That's the MLRS thingy. What base did I land on? Oh, I reckon that was the roof camp of neighbors. Did I kill him? Yikes. More gunshots were going off at the Bolty Roof Camper's base, so I headed over. Problem is, even if I kill them, they're just gonna hop on their roof. Oh, this is perfect. Just gotta kill this one. Wait, is he already out the door? Oh. Bro, what do I do now? I don't have time to leave. Fuck. Oh, that sun perfectly covered him. That was the second time now that I died to them. I had to get my own back on them. Oh shit, they're raiding again with the MLRS. All right, I'm I'm going I'm going to win this one. There they were again, flying back to their base after using the MLRS rocket. This was my time. My best course of action was to go for the base they were raiding. Should I just push? I don't know how much I trust my Thompson recoil. Just 
one full dead. One more. I think I hit him twice already. Oh, fucked him. Their base was close, and they'd be back in seconds. I had to be fast. Damn. Oh my gosh. Go away. I don't think I've got time to take the heli. I could have taken the heli, but those precious seconds while taking off could have been the difference between me surviving or not. Bro, what? Bro, I think they're coming after me in that heli. Oh, they are. Oh, come on, man. How did I miss? Oh, well. At least I got it safe in my base. Luckily, I'd managed to secure the AKs from them and get it safely in base. One of them had flown a heli onto my roof. So I went up to check it out. Yo! What?! Even now, I still don't actually know how he got inside my peaks. I went and checked, and, and all of the doors were placed with key locks. So, yeah, I don't know how he got in. They're coming back for that heli. I don't know how he's not dead. Okay. That is quite frustrating. Oh well, we still got their 8Ks. So they'd managed to fly their minicopter back home. That being said, I still got the two AK kits off of them, so I was pretty chuffed. Oh. Hello. Oh, that guy's dead. Bro, oh, why have I got incense in this? I don't know how to shoot incense. Oh man. Oh shit, two health. One. Oh. Oh, damn. Got 100 GP. Come on. Get over here. Hey. No. Over here. Please. Oh, man. Ooh, they're getting counted. Bro! Okay, my bullets just hit a branch. Uh. Gotta wait for the right time here. Okay, he's just been hit. I'm gonna go for that guy now. Wow, he had a lot of hit, uh, a lot of health, considering he just got hit by an L9. Ah, oh, he knew. I didn't think he knew. Oh, pfft, that guy got. And as my wipe was beginning to come to an end, I started hearing rockets go off at the AK Roof Campus base. A part of me wanted them to get absolutely railed, but I still wanted to try and counter. I don't know why I'm countering, I want these guys to get shafted. Damn. Oh, 
One guy just got flop. Ah, so close. <laughs> oh. I love ruining that raid defense. Brings me joy. Christ. Ah, uh, I really wish it had been me that got raided, but very often, things like that don't go your way. When you want to get online, it never happens. At the times when you really don't, that's when people show up to your door with rockets. Now it's time for the final few roams of the white. Whoa. Where did you come from? Okay. Oh my god. Where are these hazies coming from? Oh, that guy almost killed me. Oh shit, no way! I think this might have been the furthest heli takedown ever made in Rust. I didn't do it on purpose, and I was pretty annoyed. Fuck, it was coming to my base as well. And using the last of my explosives, did a little bit of raiding. What do we have in here? Ooh. Not a bad TC, actually. Ah, feels good, man. And that wraps up my solo journey playing in Mini Satori's Hexa Half Gap solo base. So what are my thoughts on the base in general, and who is it meant for? Overall, I really enjoyed living in the base. It was comfortable, pretty spacious, and I loved how innovative the peaks were. I'd never seen such a compact solo base with such great online defendability. That being said, it lacked a little bit in offline protection with only two walls to TC at any times, but I guess that's the trade-off for having the inner peaks. In terms of who it's meant for, you definitely need to be able to put some hours in to play this base. If you plan to play only a couple of hours on a couple days of wipe, this might not be the one for you. But if you're looking to have a good, long solo wipe where you plan on staying up late nights in the hopes of an online, I couldn't recommend a better base. It's also surprisingly cheap in terms of upkeep and build cost for how big it is. So overall, I would give this base a rating of 9.5 out of 10 and would highly recommend you guys use it. So make sure you check out Mini Satori and let me know in the comments what bases you'd like to see me try next series. I hope you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Wiljam, out.